Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about this record button because I've seen so many students playing with it, hoping that it will record exactly what they play. For example, a student might have this kind of rhythm. And their intuition says, well, if I press record and play that rhythm, it will record it in. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that. Really, what the record button does is allows you to record changes in real time. So essentially what that means is if I press the record button and the play button at the same time, it's going to play through my chord progression and simply just allows me to change whatever chord I've allocated to each step in real time. So let's see, currently I've got this. Okay, so we get the idea. Now if I press record, and play, it's gonna start me off on step one and I can change the chord that's allocated to it in real time, like this. Right, so I just changed those chords and it's sort of a little bit glitchy and a little bit strange, but now when I play it back, See how it's a totally different chord progression. The other thing I could do is just have the same chord playing for each chord in the step sequencer. So I'll show you what I mean. So what I can do is I can press record and play. So now I press record to stop it and play again. Now you'll hear it's, I've just allocated that same chord to each one. So where this function really comes into play is if you're performing live and you want to change your chord progression live, then you would use that record button to within the same pattern, because remember I'm in, whoops, in pattern 3.1, within the same pattern, say I want to change the chord progression, I can actually do that live while I'm performing, which takes a fair bit of practice to get it right and to get it sounding good, but that's the idea of the record button. So just to reiterate, you can't really just press record and, you know, play in your rhythm, all your rhythms and arpeggios are found in style and variation. So really what you have to do is whatever's in your head, you have to find it in style and variation and make it in the step sequencer above. Take some practice, but once you've got it, it's quite a cool little function.